Hi, my name is Cody Ray, and today I'm going to be going over a topic I get a lot of questions about, and that is how to install Romexis Client. Now, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install it on a Windows OS. I'll be making a video shortly about how to install it on a Mac, but we'll get to that later. Okay, so this situation comes up quite a bit. Let's say a doctor already has Romexis installed on a server, but he wants to add a new computer to the office environment. Well, now it's your job to install Romex's client, but you're not exactly sure how. Well, I'm going to go over it step by step today, and uh, let's get to it. So here we are at the Windows desktop. I'm running Windows 7, and I do already have Romexis installed. So a few of the prompts you would usually get during an installation you won't, and I'll go over those. So you're just going to explore the Romexis DVD and click Open for that in Windows 7. Um, you're going to go ahead and open the Romexis folder on the root of that disk, and inside you'll find a setup icon. Right-click that and run as administrator. Works much better that way. Okay. Once this loads up, we're just going to select a few options. It's going to be a lot of next, next, next. Okay. It's not too complex at all. See, this is one of the prompts. It's asking me, do I want to modify installation? Because I already have Romexis installed. You're not going to see that. Wait, 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 wait. Then what are we going to see if we're not going to see this modify installation or remove? Well, instead of this, on a fresh installation, you'll actually see two options. You can choose between standalone and custom. Always choose custom. Unless you're updating software, then you'll see this screen and you'll choose modify. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, back to work. Go ahead and accept. Now, this is where you want to select the appropriate components that we're just doing a Romexis client install. So we don't need the server components. We're just going to have the common components, which is, which is the Java. And we're just going to have the client program, which is Romexis itself. Java is needed to run Romexis. So once we have those clicked, we're going to hit next, next, next. And the installation will start. Okay. So here we go. I sped this part up. Essentially, all this is doing is installing the Romexis client. Um, this does take a few minutes depending on how you're installing. If you're doing it from the DVD, this part can take anywhere from three to five minutes. If you're doing it from a USB drive or a shared drive over network, this is not going to take as long. On a fresh installation, it might ask you at some point during this process to enter the IP address for the server. Go ahead and do that. If not, don't worry. We'll get to that later. And there we go. And we're just going to click Finish and say, no, I don't want to restart my computer yet. This is why. Um, whenever I'm wrapping up an installation of Romex's client, I really like to go ahead and double check by editing the batch file that the IP address is pointed to my server. You'll see it right there under Host. You're going to go ahead and type in the server IP address into that batch file, and then you're just going to close that and save it. This points Romexis to the Romexis installed on your server. Okay, we're not quite done yet because we're still going to go ahead and disable Java updating. Yes, Romexis does run on a very specific version of Java that we just installed. So if you navigate to your Java control panel under the Advanced tab, you can go ahead and click on JRE Auto Download and tell it to never auto download. Okay, that's it. Now you know how to install Romexis Client. Okay, here's a bonus piece of information for those of you who have stuck it out with me during this installation. Romexis, when installed, will always try to look for a version of Didapi, which is our driver software that runs on the capture computer and actually allows us to actually capture images. Since we're not going to be using this computer to capture images, we're only going to be using it to view images, Romexis will say that Didapi is missing or it's an old version when you open it up, and it'll give you that error message. This is how we take care of it. So when you clear that error message and open Room Access, you're going to click on the admin tab. Then you're going to go up and click on local settings. Then you're going to uncheck image capture. Save and then restart Room Access and the error will be gone.